Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Bike Mike's Garage. Unfortunately, today there's gonna not gonna be any wrenching on any mini bikes. Uh, if you've been following for a while, you know that my wife and I recently picked up an RV and we've been traveling around, coming to see you guys, helping you fix your bikes, delivering bikes that we've sold and, and so forth, seeing your collections of stuff. Um, and that's been a lot of fun and we're getting ready to head out and do another on the road show. And so I've been kind of going through my shop and through my tools and uh, kind of collecting some things and, and getting them ready to go. And I have started to make a switch over. I, I'm, I don't want to have to pick up all my tools out of the shop, load the RV and, and so forth. So I've been trying over the last couple, you know, few weeks, month or so, month and a half, I've been acquiring more tools uh, to create a set that I can just keep in the RV so I don't have to move move things back and forth. Um, now I have always been a diehard craftsman fan. You can <laughs> craftsman, craftsman, craftsman. This says craftsman if you can't read it. Uh, the little ratcheting tool that I use, craftsman. I have always used craftsman tools. Uh, when I graduated from high school 40 years ago, my parents, as a high school graduation present, gave me a Craftsman tool set. And uh, I think I still have most of that at the house, mom and dad. I, I might have lost a few pieces. I know I had the ratchets replaced over the years, but uh, still have most of it at the house. Um, but anyway, Craftsman's not the same company, unfortunately, that it uh, was 40 years ago, the quality of the tools and so forth. So I have been making the switch over to, I've been, I jumped on the bandwagon like a lot of people and I, I've been going to Milwaukee stuff. So as I have uh, started setting up a toolbox to keep in the RV, I, I've, most of the stuff I'm picking up is from Milwaukee. And I'll have to say it's, it's really, it's pretty nice stuff or I, I feel like it is. So one of the things I picked up was what they call this Milwaukee pack out system. And it, it's kind of cool if you're not familiar with it. The, the top here has some spots, and you can actually get other boxes, you put it on there, right? And then it locks in. And then you just have a little lever here, you, you pull up, slide it back out. And so like that's a whole socket set that I keep in there. But uh, the one issue that I have with this is this handle height. Uh, I had to go up to Indianapolis to help the kids with a project earlier this week. I put this in the back of my 2017 Chevrolet Colorado pickup, and I've got a tonneau cover thing on it, uh, just a soft one. And this is taller than what my bed height on the inside of my Colorado. So this thing uh, was, was bowing up and pushing up on my soft cover, and I was afraid it was going to rip it you know, through the wind, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. It also, this height, doesn't fit in my RV compartment very well. There's a compartment that I could put this in the RV that would fit really nice if this wasn't so tall. Uh, I have to do something else uh, now because of it. So, what well, this video is going to be is we're going to modify this handle and see if we can't get it down to a lower position so that I can... Basically, I can carry it easier. That's what that's what today's goal is. So, hopefully, we don't screw it up so bad that we uh, completely mess it up. But uh, I think uh, I thought about just going without it. But then, you know, it, it is really nice to set it down, pull the handle up, and roll it around. So I think I want to at least salvage the handle, but we just need to lower it. All right. So here's what we're working with. As you can see, as you raise and lower the handle, this part, it just slides up and down inside these tubes. Sorry, my heat just kicked on. Hopefully it's not too loud. There are a couple screws right here that will allow you to remove the entire thing. I'm gonna take them out, but I think before I pull it out, we're gonna kind of talk about what the plan is here. So, all right, it's got two spots where the handle locks in place. 
One is when it's in the all the way down position, and then right there in the all the way up position, it locks. Now that one is important to me because I don't want the handle moving up and down when I pull it out when I'm rolling it around. If it were to lock, if it doesn't lock in the down position, that doesn't really, I don't, if I lose that, I really don't care. That, that doesn't bother me, but I really would like to salvage that upper position. So to do that, means I have to leave the bottom of this, and this thing won't pull all the way out of there anyway. Uh, so I, I need to make sure that this area stays untouched. I think we're gonna have to modify it at the top. So here's my plan. Now that I've got the two screws out, that will allow me to push the outside runners all the way down. But now they stick below the tires, so we're gonna have to cut them off. So I think the plan is to cut those off there. Then the handle up here has two screws on each side that I believe this red handle will come out of there. And do you see that little red rectangle right here? That is what catches inside this thing is obviously spring loaded and when it gets down to that little rectangle they pop in and that's that's the same thing that happens here on the bottom so I think when we take these screws out and pull this out cut this off put it back in there I think we could probably take a little dremel or something and recut these rectangles and actually get it to probably lock in at the bottom too but the first thing i'm going to do is pull the whole thing out of there and cut it off where i just put those lines on the bottom so i'm going to take it into the other shop and we'll need to make sure that this is pulled out of there so we don't cut the whole thing off i'm going to take it into the shop cut off wheel and cut those cut those off and hopefully I don't mess it all up all right step number one is done I've cut the these two pieces off now obviously I'll have to go back and drill some holes to keep this all in there and I realize somebody's probably gonna say well it, you know, your handles not gonna be very tall now when you get done I'm yes I, I'm aware of that that we're not gonna go up very high. Okay, so it looks like we now stick below that about, and it could come down below it, actually no, we don't want it to come down below it. Okay, hang on a second. I gotta I got stop and think here. All right. Yeah, we don't want this to fall, these pieces here, we don't want them to fall out of the bottom, apparently. Get up there. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, I know I want that all the way down. Now this could go down just as long as the... It stuck down something about like that before. So if we cut four and a half inches off of the top of this, we should be able to lower that handle down and be back 
basically to where what we had before. Let's uh, see how hard it is to get this out of here. Oh, well that wasn't hard. Okay, now we take back out and we're going to take and cut four and a half inches off of these and see what we've got. And that should still lock up there. All right, All right so trimmed off the top. Uh, I guess it'll only go on there one way. I was I didn't pay any attention to which which uh, way that was turned. Oh yeah, that didn't look too bad. So there it goes. Like that. And that's in the locked up position. I put it down. Perfect. Now that gets me much lower height. It doesn't click in because I don't have any holes. And the whole daggone thing fell out. All right, so I'm actually going to take some measurements and see if I can't cut that rectangular hole into this piece. Oh, I, oh, awesome. I can just match it up right there. Cool. All right. That's the next project is to see if I can take a little Dremel and cut that hole out of there. Got everything all put back together, and I think it's going to work just fine. Locks in. I cut out the little holes here for it to be able to lock in. It locks in up at the top. It doesn't stick down so far that, you know, any more than what it did, really. So we can, got plenty of movement there. Uh, so what we, we gained, or we lost, actually, I guess, uh, four to four and a half inches. The, you know, the, basically the distance we cut off this, which was around four and a half inches. So that should give me the clearance I need for the back of my pickup and hopefully in the RV. So we'll have to see, but uh, I guess the real test is, is to see, you know, if it's too short now. I hope it's not. Back you guys up so you can see it. I don't think it'll be too bad. Locked in. Yep. Oh, no, that, that's good. I can still... That's easy enough to wheel around to, when I get someplace. And these. Perfect. Now, if you had a you know, whole bunch of these, I mean, you could still stack quite a few of them on there before the handle got below the those. No, I like it. I think it'll work. So... If you get one of those, you need to modify the handle. I don't know why anybody else would want to do that, but it did work out for my needs, so it is possible to do. So, Sorry it wasn't a very exciting mini bike video, but uh, like I said, just trying to provide some other content. If somebody has one of those, don't be afraid to tackle it and jump in and try and modify it to fit your needs. All right, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Well, if you've made it this far in the video, this is exactly why... I wanted to do this project. See how it's just got maybe an inch or so clearance above the roof up here. And now I can set it on that upper shelf and it fits in this compartment much easier to haul. And it also fit in the back of the bed perfect just the way I'm on my pickup, the way I wanted it to. Thanks for following along. Appreciate it.